Previously on Bar Talking Cocktails. Midnight. Yeah. Hooray. It's officially Halloween. I'm always nervous about Halloween. Last year, I got bit. Mm -hmm. I died. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I came back as a zombie. So I'm not getting bit this year. Here. Oh my god. I'm here. Did yeah. you hear well, something? you know, I got bit. You know, there's a lot of variations out there on, on the silver bullet. Oh man, I am so itchy. And garnish with a little twist of lemon. Wow, that is absolutely refreshing. I got a real need to howl at the moon. My name is Bruce, and I've been working bar in hell for an eternity. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this spectacular Halloween edition of Bar Talk and Cocktails. We've got a lot of ground to uncover. <laughs> Well, I guess that wasn't a dog that bit me. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. I'm a werewolf. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood, you sure are looking good. You're everything that a big bad wolf could want. Even a man who is pure at heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. So I'm a wolf man. Werewolves have been part of legends and storytelling for centuries. Tales of terror and their cold bloodedness abound. The word werewolf actually derives from old English compound were, meaning man, and wolf, meaning wolf. Werewolf. Ow! Werewolves are sometimes known as lycanthropes, which come from ancient Greek wording as far back as 5th century BC. One of the most famous of my kind was Lon Chaney Jr., who played Larry Talbot in the film The Wolfman from 1941. But there is one even earlier and considered the first werewolf movie ever made, simply called The Werewolf. It was a silent film from 1913 all of 18 minutes long and actually a Canadian film. It's now considered a lost film because the last known print of the werewolf was destroyed in a fire in 1924. Countless other movies have been made over the years about werewolves. Movies like An American Werewolf in London and An American Werewolf in Paris. Man, that guy gets around, eh? <laughs> There's The Howling, Van Helsing, Wolf Cop, my mom's a werewolf. <laughs> Maybe that's where I get it from. It's hereditary. <laughs> You've got Never Cry Werewolf, Bad Moon, Dog Soldiers, Teen Wolf, and Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. I think they meet Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman in that one. Even Elvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. <laughs> My favorite is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> Well, it's not about werewolves, but it's a great movie. You should check it out. <laughs> There's a lot of werewolf movies out there that I don't have time to talk about because it would take too long and I got some howling at the moon to do. Oh! As far as badass, big bad wolf cocktails are concerned, there's a lot of those too. There's one from 1935 out of Mr. Boston's cocktail book, but it sounds kind of wrong. I mean, it's one third glass curacao, two thirds glass apricot nectar, an egg yolk, <laughs> and some grenadine. It just doesn't sound appealing even to a wolf man like me. So I don't think I'm gonna make that one. I'm gonna make a wolf man original. 
I call it the shapeshifter. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, I've got my cocktail glass chilling with ice. I'm just gonna set that off to the side and replace it with our shaker glass. We're gonna start with one ounce Laird's Applejack, one ounce. Followed by one ounce Jägermeister. Jägermeister actually literally translates to uh, Master Hunter. We want one ounce. Southern Comfort, ha! <laughs> the werewolves uh, from the south. <laughs> oh! Half an ounce. And white creme de cacao. I'm gonna use a quarter ounce. There's just a little chocolate going on there. Next, we want a half an ounce of lime juice. It's probably gonna take this whole lime. That looks about right. And a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. That's about it. Followed by half an ounce of cranberry juice. Grenadine, just a, a bar spoon. This is our homemade grenadine. Check out how to make your own. <laughs> I got a video on that too. Grab some ice. Slap a lid on and shake it. Ha ha. Shake it like a, a werewolf. Ta Yeah, all right. Get rid of this ice that's been chilling in our little cocktail glass and double strain it. Oh yeah, bloody. <laughs> I'm a craving some blood tonight, baby. <laughs> and garnish with some wolf hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's not really wolf hair. It's a, it's a sponge sugar. Mm hmm And the final touch, a couple drops of Angostura orange bitters. All right, let's give this thing a go. Oh! Mm hmm Mmm, <laughs> that is delightful. This is a beautiful thing. We've got a real lovely harmony between the Laird's Applejack, the Jägermeister, and the Southern Comfort. It's just so smooth. We've got a little bit of chocolate going on from the white creme de cacao. It's ever so slight. It seems the cranberry is up front, and the lemon and the lime, well, they give it a little sour component, but it's the orange bitters that just sparkle this thing. I love it. It's delightful. Perfect for howling at the moon. <laughs> you know, I feel the need. The need to go out and win the big game. Ha! Ha! Happy how a ween oh! Holy sh it's the wolf!
See my vest, see my vest, made from real werewolf chest. See my vest, see my vest, see my vest. Yeah. <laughs> Partial funding for Bar Talk and Cocktails is provided by Patreon. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to lots of extra stuff. Behind the scenes videos, podcasts, newsletters, some of my own personally created cocktails, and much, much more. Become one of my patrons today and help keep us going. Thanks in advance. Cheers. You gotta be a shapeshifter to make this cocktail just like me. Hit the subscribe button, check the other videos out, and uh, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful cocktail. The shapeshifter. <laughs> if you don't subscribe, I'll bite ya! Ah!